Um, a new army vehicle is said to have a maximum safe load of 4,000, but a vehicle is used to transport 50 people. Now, the weight has a mean of 76 and variance of 1 to 1. The weight of one man, uh, weight of man, uh, is one man is mean of 76, obviously. All right, yeah. So, let x, wait, uh, let me adjust this. Sorry. Let x be the weight of a randomly chosen man from the camp. <laughs> It is from the question that the mean of x is 76, the variance of x is 1 to 1. x is not necessarily a normal distribution. The only thing they gave us was that x has a mean of 76, variance is 1 to 1. You are going to write this. It is wrong. To write x follows a normal distribution 76 and 1 to 1. It is wrong. Because nowhere is it in the question that says that x follows a normal distribution. Correct? Now, what do we want? We want the weight of 50 randomly chosen men. So, first, I will let x, sorry, let s be equals to x1 plus x2 all the way to x50. So now let's refer to 4.6 earlier, just the line above only. If x is not normal, but I take enough samples, n is large, I take enough, let's look at this line here, the sample sum follows a normal distribution with this mean and this variance approximately. Got it? Yes? All right. So, what is S should follow this distribution? Can I emphasize two things? One, you must write approximately because it is an approximate normal distribution. Yes? This is from above, this is n mu, this is n sigma square. Alright, this is from above. Can? Alright. All okay? Now, you want the probability that S exceeds what? You want to find the probability that the maximum safe load will be exceeded. Maximum safe load is 4,000. So you have probability S greater than 4,000. Okay, I shall not waste time asking you to calculate. You can just, we can just press GC. I think you're quite good at it now. And you get this answer. Example 8. Okay, example it says this. The random variable x has a mean of 25 and standard deviation of 1. Again, I stress this. Huh? Huh? It's printed for you. Huh? Okay, it's wrong to write this. A sample of 500 observations is made. Find the value of a correct to 3 dp such that probability x bar greater than a is 0.75. Now, <coughs> x bar means what? x bar is actually x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 all the way to x, 500, divided by 500. Uh, by central limit theorem, if, even if x is not normally distributed, x bar will be normally distributed. Correct? Okay. Now I need you all to do this. Can we write down what is the mean and variance of Can we write this thing down on your own? On your own. Now, now, now. 
use. Okay, come. Right now. What's the mean? What's the variance? Come, we can't, we can't. Make your friends up. I know you're all tired. We stand already. Finish this. One more step of time. be able to do this is a normal distribution you mean 25 and 4.5 square over 500 approximately now you want to solve this remember to cover the lower tail because the danger all of us the, the, the common mistake is that you inverse norm 0 0.75 then you will not solve it the GC only will tell you the value if you give it a left bound area. That means this, right? Maybe I draw the bell curve just to recap. You want probability, you want this to be 0 0.75, but you cannot tell the GC 0 0.75, you must tell the GC that I want this area to be 0 0.25, then the GC will give you this value. <coughs> Got it? Yes? So you convert it to lower tail. And can we very quickly find the answer to it? Inverse norm and we can get the answer. Okay? Okay, do on your own. Quick, quick, quick. Do on your own. Then we can pick someone to get an answer. No, 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 wait, wait. This one very fun. Right? Ready? Better calculate. Don't look at the screen. No, 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 no. Testing only, testing only. Wait, wait. Testing only. You better calculate now. Inverse norm to get the answer. A equals to. Ready? Yeah? Three. Two. One. Show see. <laughs> Panic. Thought you won't get on you, right? Yes, you got this. Uh, the rest relax already. You don't think I don't know. Quick, calculate on your own. Come. Come, Chelsea. Say again. 24 point. Point. Zero. 24 point zero. Now. Another percent. Come. Damien. Where's Damien? Yes, Damien. Uh, you also never calculate. Wait for your friend. Ah, yo, my goodness. Will he? Ah, yo, the rest. Why well, I always pick those who never calculate one? The rest, you look at me very straight in the eye, one means very confident one. No, don't scared. I can shut all the answer now. <laughs> right. 24.9, looks good, 
but the answer requires you to find the three decimal place. Oh, so 24.864. Done.